Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Uh, so today let's have a look at uh, how to uh, farm metals uh, pretty efficiently. And uh, yeah, this is a new uh, mechanic for our uh, version 8.0, uh, which is pretty great. And uh, yeah, we can, uh, you know, uh, save up metals so that we can trade them in for, um, you know, one-time use uh, items or uh, limited time uh, monsters. And then uh, we have Olive at the moment. She's available for a little over a year. And then actually in a JP, they just announced the, uh, the second um, uh, metal monster, Plum. Um, so any metals that you don't use on Olive, you can use on Plum later. And then, um, uh, this part explains the, uh, the difference between magic stones and then metals. Uh, what we want is metals, because we can uh, use those to trade in for stuff. Um, but we can also get uh, magic stones, which will uh, change to 3,000 metals, as we can see. Um, one important thing to keep in mind is that there is a limit to how many of each you can hold. You can hold 100,000 metals, which is a lot, uh, but you can hit that limit. Uh, and the other thing is that the magic stones have basically no limit. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just hanging on to the magic stones that I have, and I'm saving them for a rainy day, just like it says on here, um, so that I don't fill up my metals and like be forced to use them. Um, I'm never forced to use my magic stones, so. Uh, yeah, magic stones we can get uh, from 10 shots in the hatcher. Uh, maybe there'll be some uh, promotional stuff later where we can get some uh, just handed out. And then uh, the other way that we get medals is by beating quests. And then uh, if we beat it by a certain time and fulfill other um, uh, parameters. And so what we want is the S rank. That is the, uh, the highest uh, clear time. And then as we can see in this uh, picture, uh, this person beat an extreme quest, I think, uh, by the uh, certain amount of time and got the uh, 400 uh, medals. And then, yeah, we can check uh, the times in the, uh, the schedule there. And then uh, in-game, we can see the timer in the upper right to help us with the uh, getting the medals. Um, if you're not interested in seeing that timer, you can turn that off. Uh, that might be a source of stress for, for some people, so that could be good to keep in mind. Alrighty, and then uh, there are certain quests where you can uh, get medals and certain ones that you cannot. Um, so we'll look at the, uh, the list here. Kind of the, um, kind of the, uh, the simple list is extreme and uh, savage quests. Uh, but we'll look here for more um, uh, detail. So normal event quests, uh, savage only, uh, extreme quests, Ah, okay. So what it's saying is that uh, for the quests that cycle through, um, we have to play the highest level difficulty, and then we'll get the uh, the medals there. And then uh, Dragon Gems as well. Although I don't think it's extreme anymore. It only costs 35, so we get the uh, Savage uh, credit for that. Uh, EXP Shelmageddon. I think that has a new name too. It's like um, something something shell. I'll, I'll show you later. And then uh, Library of Memories. This is nice. Um, because uh, those are available all the time, and so we can use those, of course, for uh, making a max luck or getting ascension materials, but now we can also use them for medals. And then uh, certain voucher quests as well. Uh, that would be interesting, actually, if you could get that from the uh, Mythos quests. I'll maybe look into that and get back to you. Uh, but here, anyway, we see the uh, amount of uh, medals that we can get from clearing uh, different uh, missions. Uh, so as we can see, there's a big difference between a Savage and Extreme. Um, so it might be, you know, the best use of time to find an easy Extreme quest and then play that uh, to get the, you know, the more points. And then uh, you can uh, take that amount of points and then uh, give uh, or put uh, multiple uh, multipliers onto that total so you can get more medals per run. Um, so here's the Rarity bonus table. And then uh, this is the, uh, the combined rarity of uh, your entire team. Um, so usually most people are going to play with a 4 or 6 stars, which is a uh, count of uh, 24. And as we can see, 24 has uh, no bonus. Um, and then we get the highest bonus if we play with a team of uh, 20 stars or less. And of course, you can mix and match your guys to um, get down to 20. Uh, one way you could do that is to use uh, four, uh, 5 stars, that'll be 20. Um, but the thing about that is that uh, the five stars don't usually have a lot of damage output. Um, so it could make it difficult to get the uh, S 
uh, clear time. Um, so I'll show you in a second how to get down to 20 and still have a, a powerful team. And then uh, we can also see that uh, the co-op bonus uh, gives you a uh, multiplier to the medals that you get at the end of a mission. And then, um, right, with two players, three players, four players, you get a higher bonus. Um, but I think that, um, you know, two players is going to be enough for most people. Um, the difference between two players and four players is not as great as the difference between two players and just solo. Um, so if you were, you know, short on people, uh, two players would be just fine, I think. Alright, so that was that rundown. Uh, we'll uh, head back to the game, and then let's look at um, ah, how to make a team of uh, 20 rarity altogether, um, but is still powerful. Um, so here on my uh, home screen, we can see uh, Arthur here, and another Arthur, those are both uh, six stars. And then uh, here I have a Squing, <laughs> and then he is a two star. Um, so the way that you can get a, a 20 rarity team is three six stars, which is 18, and then one two star, which makes that 20. Um, so you can have three very powerful characters, one not so powerful character, and then you can get the uh, multiplier that way. And then, um, what are you looking for in a, a two-star monster? Um, well, you, we want um, a, a blast bump combo, uh, most ideally, um, so that we can set off the very strong bump combos of the other characters. Um, so let's go to the Monsterpedia, and we'll look at a rarity. And then let's look at all of the uh, two-stars that are in my Monsterpedia. And so yeah, we want any of these guys uh, if they have a uh, Blast Bump combo. Um, so I think uh, this uh, Cactus guy, yeah, he is a um, candidate. <laughs> and who else is good? I think this guy, right, Kabu also has a uh, Blast Bump combo. Um, and then this Imp looking guy. And uh, actually uh, Red Smydra, he's another um, uh, candidate. Who else is good? This is the one that I use. Uh, I just pick him because he has the dark element, so he can go to uh, any element and uh, be just fine. Uh, who else has got it? Uh, the Ice Cube, finally enough, has a uh, Blast Bump combo. Uh, I think the Star does as well. And then of all of these, the, uh, the best might be uh, this one, KO. And the reason for that is because he has the uh, highest speed of everybody. Um, I've been playing uh, various uh, trial quests and things, and I actually haven't been able to get a drop of a KO. Um, if you have this guy, great. Uh, if you do not, uh, you can certainly use any of these other guys. Um, let's see. This is probably the easiest one to get. Uh, Red Smiter appears on the very, very, very first uh, trial quest. Uh, like the, uh, the red, um, whatever it is, it costs like, you know, five stamina. Uh, so you can play that, you can get Red Smidra. Uh, if you wanted the one that I am using, he is a drop in um, Bahamut. It's a really, really old uh, extreme quest, and I, he might be in the Library of Memories, so yeah, you can uh, get him there. Uh, but for most people, the Red Smiter is going to be uh, good enough. Alright, and then, uh, which characters are good for the um, uh, your other team, your three six stars? And then, kind of overwhelmingly, the best bump combo, uh, we want to go by bump combo, is the uh, lock-on uh, one-way laser. So let's go look at that, whatever that is. And almost there. Here we are. Um, so yeah, the lock-on one-way laser, it does a lot of damage, and it does the, uh, the homing, so it's always going to hit somebody. And then... Um, the uh, very strong homing bump combos are also strong, uh, but the one-way laser has the faster uh, animation, um, so that can help us get the uh, S-class uh, rank. And then I would say the best one overall is uh, Arthur. Um, has the, uh, the double null ability and no gauge, so you can use her very quickly and easily. And then uh, also being a light element, she can go to all uh, elements with no problem. Um, you could also use uh, Susano, very strong, Atos, strong, Apollo X, very strong. Uh, if you didn't have any of those Hatcher monsters, uh, you could use uh, Babel. Uh, you could use Satellite. 
And then uh, Rotbone, if you were lucky enough to get him uh, a year and a half ago. And then uh, you could also use um, Kushinada Zero. I don't know where she is. Kushinada Zero. There she is. Um, so yeah, she has the uh, lock-on uh, trident laser. Um, not as strong as maybe the one-way lasers, but if you did have her, she could be another um, possibility. Okay, so that was my uh, list of recommended two stars and then recommended uh, six stars. And then uh, what we'll do next is we'll head over to my other video I have recorded and we will uh, look at uh, one of my playthroughs. And then we can uh, see how the, the mission plays, you know, which mission I like to play. And then also the tally up at the end. So let's have a look at that. And then um, I'm going to go here to the uh, No Stamina quest. And this is a real nice addition. I get, you know, a few uh, plays free every day. And I'll go down to here to the bottom and then uh, Dark Shell Mondays. And then uh, the element for this will shift every day, but you can play any of them. And then uh, we will take our Arthur team. Uh, we will team up with my friend so that we get the, uh, the co-op multiplier. And then we will head into the quest. And then the, uh, the two-star monster, uh, you don't really need to uh, hypermax it. Um, I would give him a speed at the very least, uh, just so that you can get across the screen and uh, set off more bump combos. Um, so yeah, that's it basically. Just hit everybody's bump combo and then uh, hit the uh, two-star as well, so that, uh, that Arthur can set off her own bump combo. Whoops. <laughs> um, so yeah, here I'm using Arthur, uh, which is pretty great, because she gets the element advantage with uh, more damage. Um, but I've been using this exact team for every element, and I get the uh, S uh, clear time uh, all the time anyway. Um, so yeah, Arthur is my most recommended. Um, but that's just talking about the uh, different uh, shell quests. Um, if you were playing, um, you know, some random extreme quest like, uh, you know, Dracula or the new uh, Kamai Tachi or whatever, then of course you use uh, monsters with a better, um, uh, you know, gimmick, uh, null gimmick set. Um, but for these uh, free uh, shell quests uh, that come every day, uh, Arthur is just fine. All right, so pretty straightforward. Just hit everybody's bump combo. Pretty good. And then uh, there we can see the um, time to the S rank. We have uh, two minutes left. <laughs> and then probably the entire stage is not going to take two minutes. Uh, but here we're starting to see some gimmicks. Uh, there will be uh, gravity barriers and damage walls. Um, so that's another great reason why uh, Arthur is very good. All right, very good. And then uh, later on, uh, Uriel, she will get her uh, transcendent form. And then um, she will also be uh, very good, I think, uh, for these uh, metal quests. Um, because she'll have the same ability set, uh, but be a pierce and with no uh, gauge. And a very strong bump combo, so. All right. So actually, uh, in this run, I've had a couple uh, turns where, you know, I miss something and nothing really gets uh, set off. Uh, but as you can see, we're doing just fine. We have a full minute for the uh, final stage. All right, let's use uh, Squing's uh, Strike Shot. It's just a speed up, uh, which can be useful to get more uh, bump combos out. And some more bump combos, and that is it. All right, let's see if we got the uh, S-Class. <laughs> I always think that's funny that the, uh, the two-star has a different uh, kind of rhythm to its uh, jumping. So it's out of uh, sync with the uh, three Arthurs. All right, so we get some shells uh, or um, eggs. Don't need to worry about those. All right, and then here is the clear time. We got the uh, S-Rank. And so we get the uh, advertised uh, 400 points for it. Uh, that's for beating an extreme quest, uh, which usually costs uh, 50 stamina. And then my total rarity is a 20, because I have the three 6 stars and the one 2 star. 
Um, so that multiplies that 400 by almost uh, two. And then uh, with the co-op, we also get the uh, multiplier there. And so we almost get a, a thousand medals uh, just from that very, very easy quest. Um, so yeah, that is how that works. Um, and I haven't seen it yet, uh, but there may be something in the future where brand new extreme quests and savage quests, uh, they get a, a multiplier. And so uh, this one could come up to like, uh, you know, three, four thousand. Um, I don't think we have that feature yet, but maybe in the future. So keep an eye on that. Okay, well, I hope that was informative. And uh, yeah, have fun uh, getting those medals. Thanks for watching. Take care.